What does overeating, a baby, and my iPhone have in common? Stick with me, I promise you'll see the connection. We eat and overeat for a multitude of reasons. Um, habit, availability, convenience, um, accessibility, exposure to highly manufactured, um, hard to resist food-like substances or ultra-processed foods. Portions, emotions, environment. We live in an environment where we're conditioned to overeat. Food is everywhere and portions are out of control. We can't seem to get away from it. I mean, even checkout lines at stores that don't traditionally sell food have food available at the checkout lines. We eat in the car, on the go, standing up, sitting down, grab this, grab that. And so sometimes we're even lucky if we, if we know what we're eating. Many people are constantly overriding a sense of fullness or satisfaction. And not gaining weight over the course of a lifetime is very difficult it's for many, especially if we are physiologically inclined to um, put on weight. And of course we do eat when we're hungry, but what if we were only to eat when we were hungry? I want you to think about something. And this is where babies come into the picture. A baby is hungry. What does she do? She cries, right? Signaling to mom and dad, woohoo, it's time, feed me, I'm hungry. Baby gets fed. What does she do when she's had enough? She stops, and she pushes away. Thanks mom, I've had enough. But, <laughs> What about us? As we get older, we lose that connection. We're not taught to stay in touch with those hunger and fullness cues. Um, why can't we get the message that we've had enough? Imagine if mom ignored her baby's signal. No sweet baby, I've made this bottle and you're gonna drink it. Even if you haven't finished it, drink, drink, drink. I mean, no. And here's where my iPhone comes into the picture. My iPhone was always running out of storage and I was always getting a message, storage, almost full. Even after offloading a bunch of storage hogging things, I still had a problem. So a call into Apple support gave me the solution and it wasn't a fun one. But the best resolution was for me to erase all and reset the phone to factory settings. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's where I made the connection with like babies and my iPhone. If only people could be restored to their factory settings, like do a hunger reset. If we could restore that hunger and fullness center, like when we were babies, think about it. <laughs> Make sure you watch this video next where I discuss the number one tool I teach clients, which ties in perfectly to what we're talking about. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.